Thanks for staying with us on this segment of Vision. Cedric Vaughn, we're excited about our guest. We've been knowing uh, him for a long time and he's doing great work in the community. We're talking with Demarcus Weems, who is the community coordinator for We Care. Mr. Weems, thanks for coming to be with us on the program. You, thank you for having me. Thank well, we, having we've, me. we've been watching your work uh, in the community and I've uh, seen some Stop the Violence campaigns. And so now what you're doing is a back to school drive for success route. Correct. So what we're going to do on Saturday, August the 4th, we're going to have a back to school rally for the kids in, in the city of Montgomery. And basically the purpose of this rally is to start the, school, start the schools with uh, necessary supplies and tools for the students as well as the teachers. Mm. So my organization, We Care, come together along with partnering with other people in the community, community leaders, just to have the opportunity to give back to our community because I'm a product of Montgomery, Alabama, but not only Montgomery, Alabama, but the west side of Montgomery. Mm, that's good, that's, that's good. good. And so uh, you want to make a difference. And I saw in your information that you're honoring the legacy of Rose Zell Lawrence, and who was she to you? Roselle Lawrence is, is a community activist, but not only a community activist, she's my grandmother. Mm -hmm. She raised me on the, on the west side of Montgomery doing the best that she can with, with me. Um, you know, I was a handful, you know, but she, with through her love and mercy and grace, yeah. you know, I, I became the man that I am today. Yeah. Uh, Roselle Lawrence got out in the neighborhood and she worked in it. And not a lot of people know her you know, by name or anything like that, but they know her work. Mm. So she got out and cleaned the neighborhood. She got the neighborhood association together. She was able to just provide um, snacks for the kids throughout the neighborhood. And not only snacks and, and stuff like that, but also love mm. because a lot of kids, they, they flock to her house because that's grandma. That was grandma in the whole neighborhood. Yeah. So grandma, that's my grandmother. And this is an opportunity to honor her legacy and continue to do community service and the city of Montgomery, but not only the city of Montgomery, but on the west side, and just, you know, keep a legacy going strong. Now, uh, you, you sent us a flyer uh, about this event, which will be on August 4th, mm -hmm. and uh, it will be from uh, 12 to? To about 7, 8 o'clock okay. when the sun goes All right, down. we've got that on the screen now, the Back to School Drive for Success rally. And so, uh, so you're collecting school supplies and donations to support our inner city schools. And, and so how will this work? Uh, you want people to contact you to, to donate funds and supplies. How do you want them to do it? So basically, on this day right here, I want everybody to come out to this rally. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, bring the school supplies, and my team, we're going to go through the school supplies. We're going to divide them up, and then we're going to distribute them not only to one school, but hopefully many schools throughout the city. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of kids that desperately need supplies, and not only the kids, but the teachers as well. We hear about it all the time mm -hmm. that teachers are struggling. They going in their own pocket and teachers only get paid once a month. That's right. So they going in their own pocket just to provide their own school supplies so they can have the necessary tools to teach the kids and educate the kids because number one, our kids are important to us. Mm -hmm. They are our future. So what we want everybody to do on August the 4th is to bring out the school supplies, okay? And bring book bags, bring paper, pencils, crayons, et cetera. And we're gonna stuff those book bags and we're gonna distribute them throughout the whole city. Um, it's gonna be a rally, mm -hmm. but it's also gonna be like a family reunion type atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Everybody get together, have a good time. It's gonna be prizes, games, uh, free food. Mm -hmm. You can't get enough oh, no, free you, food. Yeah, you hey. Know, hey, hey, you know, I'm a big guy. You know, I love to eat. So you can imagine that yeah. we're just gonna have to- Make you know, sure you got that taken. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Hamburgers, hot dogs, but you know, we got some people that are going to do some special things. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to tell everything. I understand, I understand. But it's going to be some special things out there. It's going to be some delicious food. I understand. So we want people to come out and, and just, we're going to have a good time. Uh, we got a special guest, DJ. Okay. Uh, D, I'm not going to tell his name. Okay. But he's a part of 97.9 Jam. All right. And he promised to come out and just, you know, get it crunk. Okay. Turn up. All right. Well, now you also got some special guests. I do. Okay. I do. Who you got? Uh, let's see. I have the chief of police. Okay. Um, Montgomery chief. You police. know, shout out to Montgomery Police Department. Yes. Because they always doing community service in the city of Montgomery. Yes. That's the way that we combat crime yes. is get out there and community policing. And I'm a police officer with the city of Tuskegee now, mm -hmm. and also uh, Chief James, my friend yes. James. Marquez, he's the, yeah police chief of um, Tuskegee. Yes. And so he's doing good things. He's going to be out there because he's a product of Montgomery and a product of Western Hills community as well. That's great. Uh, Judge Tiffany McCord. Yes. We were planning on having her to come out and, and she came out to my last rally and she said, anything that I can do 
the, the, the support the youth, she's with it. That's so I, I really appreciate her for coming out. And it's just going to be a host of other community leaders to come out and just, you know, give back their time, their energy, their effort. But not only that, their love to the youth and be able to just make a difference in a positive way on that day. Well, you know, and, and when we talk about testimony of, of how the community has supported us uh, in, the, in, the, in, in days gone by, and you yourself, of course, you know, you and I have known each other for a long time. Right. We know that your, your mother went on to be with the Lord yes, early, yes, and, yes. and now your grandmother's going on to be yes. with the Lord, yes. but, but they supported you. And so what is the importance of the community supporting our youth as they are trying to make it to their destination? Well, my, it, it takes a village. Yeah. It takes a village. Uh, my mother was sick majority throughout my life, you know, and then my grandmother, you know, she raised me and, and helped take care of my mother and everything like that. With that love and, and, and that support, but not only them, but I had the support of my people, mm -hmm. you know, of uh, my computer, yeah. I mean, my, church family. my church family yeah. and, and my community. Yeah. Uh, people like Rob McGee, people like, you mm -hmm. know, Sage Ravonna, mm -hmm. that was always spoken good and positive things in my life to help me to go on and, and graduate high school. Yeah. But not only graduate high school, graduate college. Yes. Two times. Yes. You know what I'm With a master's I'm degree. I'm on somebody. Yeah. <laughs> so I look at it like, you know, my life is, is, a, is a blessing. Mm -hmm. But I thank God for him putting the right people in my life, you know, at the right time. Mm -hmm. So this is my opportunity to give back to the community because I want to instill it into the young kids that's coming up. Listen, you don't have to turn to drugs or alcohol. You don't have to turn to, you know, bullying or want to fight and, and, and you, you, you're empty because you grew up without a father figure in your life. I, it's my opportunity to give back with the resources that I have. Mm -hmm. And God is my way maker and my provider. Mm -hmm. And so long as I trust in him, and I stand on his word, no matter what, everything going to work itself out. And so this is my testimony to the, to the youth, to my community. Hey, listen, we love you. Mm -hmm. We care. We're here to support you. We're here to, to help you, you make it. We believe in you. You believe in your goals, your dreams. You know, dream big because the sky is the limit. You can do anything that you want to do. A person that I grew up with and just have dyslexia. Okay. You know, uh, it's a struggle to graduate high school. Mm. It's a struggle to graduate college. You know, yeah. it took me a minute, mm -hmm. but I did it yeah. with the right resources and the right people in my life. And I can't speak on enough of having the right people in your life at the right time. That's good. Because if you don't have the right people in your life that's encouraging, you know, lifting you up, and you got the negative people that's always speaking negative on you, then it's going to hurt you. And it's going it's to make you do things that you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. So we want to deter people from suicide. We want to deter people from crime. And we just want to show people love and give them unconditional love and grace, mercy, and compassion. And just say, hey, mm -hmm. we know what you're going through, mm -hmm. but you can make it. Well, I tell you, it, that's really, this is really, really great. I knew that you were going to be going to be passionate about it. Um, and so not only are you going to have food, but you got prizes that you're going to get. I got prizes on Give me. I got some. Listen. I'm, I'm, <laughs> tell, tell us about it. Listen, I'm, I'm, we're going to do some raffles. Okay. We're going to do some raffles. And, and in those raffles, it's going to be some cash money. Okay. Because, you you know, you can't go wrong with giving away cash no, money. No, you can't. No, you can't. You know, so uh, we, I'm not going to talk about all the prizes because they are a surprise. Uh -huh. But I want people to come to get a ticket. And it don't cost you anything just to show up and show out and let's have a good time. And uh, we're just going to just enjoy the, the moment. We're going to play kickball. Okay. We're going to play flag football. All right. We're going to have people that are um, teaching the kids about CPR. Okay. Um, you know, so it's just going to be an event where we all can come together as a community, a day without violence, a day mm. of peace, joy and happiness, and love. And we just want to share it through the whole west side of Montgomery. Now, now the people that you want uh, to uh, support this project, you, you're looking for uh, community leaders, uh, looking for churches, you're looking for Greek organizations, whatever organization right. that's got a heart to see the community and see our youth get to the next level. Right. See, my, my drive and my passion is to serve. So I just want people to come out and volunteer their time, give their effort, just to give back to the community. So yes, I want all churches, I want all organizations, uh, no matter who you're affiliated with, uh, nonviolence, of course. I want the, the Greeks, the fraternity, mm -hmm. um, Phi Beta Sigma, Zeta Phi Beta, mm -hmm. uh, Alpha Phi Alpha, everybody, mm -hmm. you know, AKAs, mm -hmm. come out and support this event. Um, all the church's leaders, you know, to come together. This is an opportunity for us 
you can see a lot of division in the city mm -hmm. because everybody want to do their own thing. Mm -hmm. I salute and give praise to anybody that's helping the community mm -hmm. in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Because it's not about it, being an individual saying, hey, it's all about me. Mm -hmm. But so I want to bring everybody together to the best of my ability mm -hmm. and just come together and just, hey, we all get on one accord and just love each other, but mainly focus on our mission. And that's to give back and serve the community. But not only that, but to help save kids' lives. Mm. Because that's what it's all about. It's about stopping the violence in these youth. It's about giving them hope, you know, giving them a dream, you know, let them believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's no telling what a child can do when they believe in themselves. Mm. That, that's, that pushes, that develop hope, that develop faith, and that makes them go to a whole nother level. And so that's what we want to do. I, I grew up also part of the YMCA mm -hmm. at Kershaw and Rosa Paz mm -hmm. YMCA. Mm -hmm. And I had, uh, you know, Darrell Woods a mm -hmm. part of that's my right. life. Yeah. You know, he, he, hey, I'm telling you, he's Mr. Woods, he, he's great. Yeah, yeah. He didn't play. Yeah. He didn't play. And Jeff Jones, yeah. before he I passed away, well, yeah, he, he was a vital part yeah. of my life. But, you know, it's my way of giving back to, to our community. And, and that's all it's all about, it's just giving back. Well, you know, one of the other expenses that our, our uh, youth and our students have going back to school and our parents have is, is uniforms. And so, right. we wanna, you know, I'm sure you want to address that yeah. uh, when they come out too in ways that we can help uh, facilitate uh, our, our kids being ready so they don't have to sit out, you exactly. know, a couple of weeks so they can go, go on and get in there. Exactly. We partnering with the Montgomery Public School also. Okay. And we want, they're going to come out and they're going to talk to, you know, the, uh, about the dress codes and they're going to talk to other kids, I mean, the kids and the parents of what to expect this upcoming school year as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, basically we just want to take all the expenses that we can possibly take off the parents. We want to do that because I know it's a struggle paying like house note or car note and providing food. So this is our way of giving back about supplying the school, um, the school supplies and the tools that they're going to need for this upcoming school year. You okay. know, hopefully we can do a lot with it and we need the community help. Great. All right. Well, uh, Mr. Williams, we want to say thanks for coming to be with us Appreciate on the program. We're very you. excited. Uh, and so I'm just saying publicly, I'm going to be there. On yes, sir. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> on August 4th. Yes. But, but, but we, we, we got to go. But we want to recognize also one of our, our community partners, um, a new restaurant, new entrepreneur, uh, Teresa Jackson, the owner of J.W. Beverett over in the University Plaza. She has said that she's going to support you. Yes. And so we've been really excited about her restaurant and the great soul food that, that she uh that she serves every day and so we want to get you and encourage you to go by and see her uh, and so that's going to do it for us on this segment of visions we've enjoyed talking with demarcus williams we'll be there on august the 4th thanks for watching and we'll see you next time